Hey guys, so we're in green today because we're excited to talk about, or rather I'm excited to talk about the new Dragon Age trailer. Um, I'm actually going to turn on the subs because you're going to catch some things that you may not. I face tyrants and would be gods. So right away you recognize this is Varric's voice, right? So that's, that's exciting because you get to him back. Always someone. There's always some baddie. They introduce a new baddie with every game, right? It's time for a new hero. So this this graphics look glorious, guys. It's very very pretty. This is this could be Orle because you see here all of these structures and the cathedral. This could be Orle. Right, and you definitely you get a uh, you get a dark, darker tone here. So these are these are probably your new allies. They're in heavy armor, but you can see one person is able to fire arrows and they're magic arrows. So this this is the money shot. This guy, his name is Solus, and if you played Inquisition, he's kind of the main. He's one of your companions. He's actually a very kind companion. You don't actually find out, spoilers, that he's evil until you play the DLC. But there he is again in all his glory. Right? And that's that's basically a trailer. But here's the important thing. During the trailer, um, there's always someone bent on breaking the world. So Varric says there's a new, it's time for a new hero. No magic hand, so it's not the Inquisitor, because the Inquisitor has the magic hand, right, to close the rifts. Okay. No ancient prophecy. No ancient prophecy. So this is not the dark spawn where it's been prophesized for hundreds of years that there's this is going to happen and you have to join the Great Wardens to help. Right, so we we know right away we're eliminating the Grey Warden that you play in the first one. We just call him the Warden. We're eliminating the Inquisitor. Um, he doesn't mention anything about Hawk yet because Hawk is kind of his best friend. We've got your back. I've got your back. So that makes me really wonder because is this a new character or is it Hawk? Because. You know why? Varric says, I got your back. This is very personal. Demons, dragons, dark spawn. So these are all of the enemies he spot before. Demons, dragon, dark spawns. Even the dread wolf. So we don't know if it's going to be Hawk. But he's not ruling it out because he said there's it's not the warden, so no agent prophecy. It's narc, not the inquisitor because no magic hand. Um, it could be Hawk or it could be someone no one expected, which means one of two things it could be Hawk, or just like in the original Dragon Age, you made a character and you didn't have to make a human. Um, so lately, I know. With Dra with Dragon Age Two, um, you had to pick a human because the human was Hawk, and then finally in Inquisitions they let you make different um, races again. So hopefully this is referring to kind of anyone here. But the next scene here, Person. it actually shows somebody from the from the the street side and this is an assassination you clearly because he's chasing I've someone and this person is using Demons, a magic dragons. bow so maybe this is using rift magic so this could be your inquisitor so you you technically can team up with yourself so it's possible that you're teaming up with the warden and the inquisitor i know in inquisition there is a special appearance by hawk himself so we'll see but by Varric saying we got your back and I got your back I don't know 
maybe that's a new character or maybe that's Hawk. So we'll we'll see. The one no one expected. That when he says no one expected though, because Hawk is in Kirkwall, does this mean that um it's someone new? Well, we'll just have to see. Regardless, I'm very excited. We're finally getting some footage from Inquisition, and that is that is magical. It looks great, by the way. You're fighting these turtle beasts here. You get a glimpse of the maybe the Orle Palace. And I think it's the same. If you look here, you see the infrastructure. There's a tall building and then some short pillars. And then if you look at the next scene, it's the same building. So you're up here. Maybe you're you're gonna be one of the thieves, the bards like Oriana, who's playing the game. And um, I'm gonna turn this off. You could be a barg here, but this is the same building. So they show you kind of the zoom away, and then they show you the same building here. So that's really really exciting. And here it looks like it's the same. Oh, you know what? I think it's Tervinter because if there's floating magic castles, it could be Tervinter. And we we really haven't gone there yet, right? We haven't seen kind of the culture and there's lots of magic runes. That makes more sense. It could be Tervinter. All right, guys, let me know what you think. And if you like this reaction, um, please give more insight and please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.